welcome. Would everyone please stand and gentlemen remove your hats as senior Nick Perkins sings the national anthem. So proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Star-spangled banner yet wave O'er the land of the free And the home of the brave Thank you, Nick. You may be seated. Good evening, NSA families. I'm Dr. Randy Staggs, one of the associate principals at NSA, and it is my honor to welcome you to the Grand Ole Opry as we celebrate the commencement of the class of 2022. We are absolutely thrilled to be back in this venue that is such a big part of the history of our city, just as it's an important part of the history of Nashville School of the Arts. We are grateful to have our faculty here over on this side. I'd also like to recognize our administrative staff. We have Dr. Iris Colette Olich, who is the other associate principal. Dr. Catherine Lataha Daluge, who is our Dean of Instruction. And then we have some distinguished guests with us. We have Ms. Uh, Dr. Shun Turner, who is uh, the Executive Director of uh, High Schools. And then we also have Ms. Ginny Pupo Walker, who is with the school board. We're so thankful that they could join us tonight. And um, thank you also to all of our families that are in attendance um, here in-house and also everyone who is watching the live stream at home. We're so thankful that all of you are willing to spend some time with us tonight recognizing these amazing students. And now I would like to introduce our Master of Ceremonies for the evening. It's NSA's school coordinator, the face of NSA that you see as soon as you walk in the front door, Mr. Jeremy Lee. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that, should I? I hit the microphone. I'm the worst already. Okay. It is truly an honor to be here tonight to MC graduation for the class of 2022. We aren't in a parking lot. We're not in a different school's auditorium. We are back in the Grand Ole Opry to celebrate the last four years of sweat, tears, being wrapped in blankets, more tears, laughter, and still a few more tears. Because if you didn't realize it yet, artists can be a little over-emotional sometimes. So true. But that is part of what makes them unique. I'm excited to have the opportunity to say some of your names without ending it in the phrase, please report to Union Station. 
Words I'm sure all of you are happy to never hear again moving forward. <laughs> oh, that was too much excitement for that. Okay, to those that have never been to an NSA graduation, you're in for a rare treat. Tonight is the culmination of four years of hard work and dedication and countless hours of progressing their craft. I know that you didn't come here to hear me talk, so let's get things started. Please direct your attention to the screens and enjoy the presentation of our senior visual artists. Art is hopefully a career. An experience. Communication. Expressive. Messy. Beautiful. Gloriously inconvenient. Clever. Inspiring. A passion. Delicate. Bold. Bright. Art is lit. Dimensional. Inconsistent. Exotic. Art is hopefully a career. An experience. Communication. Expressive. Messy. Beautiful. Gloriously inconvenient. Clever. Inspiring. A passion. Delicate. Bold. Bright. Art is lit. Dimensional. Inconsistent. Exotic. Art is hopefully a career. An experience. Communication. Expressive. Messy. Beautiful. Gloriously inconvenient. Clever. Inspiring. A passion. Delicate. Bold. Bright. Art is lit. Dimensional. Inconsistent. Exotic. Art. So as a young lad, I was pushed into taking piano lessons by my parents. It wasn't like in the movies where the teacher had a ruler to hit my hand every time I had the wrong hand position. Back then, they had these Alfred's basic piano books that were changed color for every level, and I think I made it to level five, which we will call like a fifth grade level piano player. Thankfully, our next performer hasn't let anything get in his way to become better than me. So after four years in Miss Gabriel's piano classes, which I think she did not use a ruler in her classes either, here to play Polichinelle Opus Number no. 3, Number no. 4 by Sergei Rachmaninoff, which must have been in the level six book, so I never got to that one. Please welcome to the stage Emmett Davies.
I could never do that. Fun fact, did you know that being in the band is much like being a worker in the post office? As a French horn playing band nerd myself, I'm all too familiar with the wind band and orchestra motto. Neither snow nor rain nor heat and you get the drift because you know the rest of it. For this group, you have to add to the list being dive bombed by green June beetle larva from the rafters and adjusting to a new energetic and very quirky band director your senior year, 
and you get a little taste of what these people have had to deal with up to this point. Much like the post office, they have persevered. If you don't believe me, just listen to the senior wind band and orchestra as they play the Beatles' Love, arranged by Jay Bocook, not in reference to the Green June Beetle larva, though. And preceded by Two Plus One by Ivan Trevino, played by seniors Isabel Kayleen and Shayna Kaposi.
apologies, I didn't give you the warning that there was audience participation tonight. So thank you for playing along with the band and, or the band and orchestra kids. So for any members of the audience that are not familiar with our school, we are composed of nine different conservatories or artistic areas. Some of them are loud and dramatic by their very nature. And I think we all know that I'm talking about the theater students. Oh, don't, don't even try, you know you are. But others reveal their creativity in the written form. Truth be told, our next student and her closest pal, Ella Peters, they aren't people that I would describe as quiet. In fact, she, being the next speaker, wanted to, her voice to be heard so much that she submitted her piece, The Spadefoot Toad, to Nashville Scene Student Essay Contest, and she won. Yeah. Reading her piece tonight called Brews, please welcome to the stage Mackenzie Bransford. I have a bruise that never seems to fade. It is built in the shape of a young girl with knees pulled up to her chin, watching the Atlantic Ocean breathe in and out. It is built in the shape of intangible shame, the shape of a rain cloud swelling with water and never having the chance to weep, never having the chance to allow the drops to fall to the earth, never having the chance to tell the ground the story of the sky. I have lived my life believing that there is something inside of me that I must hide, that a person owes it to the world to hide themselves, and in turn, they will be hidden from the world. I do this sacred protecting in a million sharp, unforgiving ways. I look up at people when they are speaking to me. I make eye contact and I allow them to interrupt. I hold my breath and let them tell me who I am. I swallow my words and feed them to the unacceptable image of a girl sitting in my stomach. She is who I cannot tell the world I am. I have held so tightly to this pursuit of protection that the bones in my knuckles have broken through my skin under the grip of every moment my hands could touch my graceless humanity prodded through the layers of artificial simplicity I had painted my world with, pervading my narrative with a silent terror. Behind every marionette doll scene I had created, my own broken hands, fiddling with my imperfect existence, begin to enter the picture. There are some things I have learned you cannot wash away with half a cup of bleach. You cannot pick off of your skin. You cannot delete from the image. Some things, no matter how quickly you run or how hard you scrub your hands, will always be under your fingernails. They will always be at your heels. And my cheeks will always puff out a little, creating the illusion of a swollen red apple. And I will always have the loudest laugh in the room. And I cry when I'm angry. And I'm angry a lot. And there are some things we must learn to live with. And so the girl begins to climb up my throat. I take her to, inner, to dinner, and we both order our sodas with no ice. We put our hands on the earth and plant a garden. We let tendrils of pea plants wrap around our wrist and watch yellow peonies bloom from minute seeds. We go on long car rides. We hold eye contact in the rear view mirrors. We learn when to apologize and we learn when to yell. We learn that there are places in the world we do not have to contort to fit into. We learn to roll the windows down, allow our hair to splash across our skin. We learn that we were not born with explosions in our fists. We are not standing in front of a speeding train, that nothing is hiding under the bed. We do not hold bombs. There are no traps. We do not need to leave the door cracked. And I want to look at that girl trapped in a bruise, with her legs pulled up to her chest, begging the water for a moment of relief. And I want to tell her that this imprint will never fade completely. It will still ache when you see a red pen or feel a lump make a home inside your throat. But there are moments you will forget it ever existed. When you catch a glimpse of yourself in the storefront windows or paint your nails pink under a lunch table or slam your feet against the warm pavement that frames your home. Look there, I want to tell her, because that is where you'll find it. It takes a special person to stand before students day after day to teach about math, science, language, history, and the arts. 
And in that spirit, I want to take a brief moment to give a round of applause for all of our teachers and school professionals that have gotten you this far. I know I personally couldn't handle the stress of managing your personalities and the direct responsibility of education class after class. It's why I love my job in the office. I think of myself as the uncle. I can offer you sage advice like, life isn't fair. Or, if I'm asking you about it, I've already got video proof. <laughs> or, the machine didn't steal your money, that's just how a debit card works. And after I've shared my words of wisdom, I can then kick you out and give you back to the teachers or on a really good day back to your parents. Realistically, I know a lot of what I share goes in one ear and out the other, but I take no offense. I recognize that sometimes the best lessons for both students and the adults watching over you come from within the ranks of the students themselves. So here to prove my point with his unique wisdom and perspective, your salutatorian, Miles Troxler. guys. Well, this is my first time being the salutatorian, so bear with me here. Um, most of you know me by now. If not, here's all you need to know. I'm the guy who takes extra math tests for fun. Mr. Wade can attest to that. Uh, I'm the guy that reminds the teacher when they forget to collect the homework at the end of class. And I'm the guy who has to try really hard not to play every piano I see. But they, they wouldn't let me touch that one over there. Um, most importantly, I'm the guy that waited until the night before this speech was due to even begin to write it. Uh, I could safely say that, uh, ironically enough, even after BC Calculus and U.S. History, that writing this speech is the most difficult thing I've had to do in my four years at National School of the Arts. I had countless ideas in my mind, but none of them seemed to work when I tried to flesh them out. None of the jokes I had in my head sounded quite as funny when I wrote them down. Um, I'm no stranger to writing essays and scripts, but this really stumped me for some reason. Um, because this time, I'm not just trying to meet a word count or fabricate some silly, nonsensical story. This is a privilege that I've been working for four years to earn. And uh, funny enough, it was through my struggle to come up with a concept for this speech that I realized exactly what it should be about. Because I'd like to talk to you today about the double-edged sword of striving for perfection. That's a word that's caused me a lot of heartache throughout the years. We all know that it's unattainable. And yet, so many of us push harder and harder every single day to try and reach it. I would consider myself to be one of those people. I, I don't like to call myself a perfectionist, but what else do you call it when you make a 99 on a test and you retake it over and over until you get a 100? What else do you call it when you get a 35 on the ACT and retake it? I didn't get a 36, but I tried. Uh, what else do you call it when you stay up until 3 a.m. writing a speech when you could just recycle one of your AP Lit essays and call it a day? I did consider that. I don't know. One thing is for sure, I don't go easy on myself. I think most people are very aware of the stress that comes from having strict or lofty expectations placed on you by other people, um, be it from parents, teachers, a boss, friends. But I think just as impactful, perhaps more so, are the expectations we place on ourselves, especially when we fail to live up to those expectations. Now, I couldn't make it this far in the speech without quoting something, so here it goes. Steve Furtick once said, the reason we struggle with insecurity is because we compare our behind the scenes with somebody else's highlight reel. This one really speaks to me. It is so easy to look at test grades, a GPA, social media posts, and make assumptions about how smart somebody is or how they feel every day. But all of that, every report card, every school performance, every video that I post on my YouTube channel, shout out to Super Miles Yo, uh, that's all part of my highlight reel. The behind the scenes footage is a very different story. People don't see the 50 times that I had to play one line in a music project before I got a take that I was satisfied with. People don't see the countless hours I spend staring at a computer screen trying to gather the motivation to write an essay or a speech. The point I'm trying to make here is, I think many people look at me and they see a guy that has it all put together. At least I hope so. And I would love to pretend that is always the case because oftentimes it's the easiest thing to do. But I would be lying to you if I told you sorry, that I really feel like I know what I'm doing or that I'm ever completely satisfied with anything that I do. Following this train of thought, a large part of my journey this past year was not related to academics or music, 
It was learning to accept when I fall short of my own expectations. Because the truth is, when your expectation is perfection, you are always going to fall short, every time. And I found it so ironic that even after getting through high school thinking that I had all this figured out, I was still holding myself back because I struggled so hard writing this speech because I refused to accept anything that wasn't perfect until I realized that it never would be, and that's okay. I'm not one to give advice, but I'm going to anyways. Here's what I have to offer. Be patient, be kind, be respectful. We've all heard it before, but not just to those around you. Be patient to yourself. Rather than be your own worst critic, be your own biggest fan. Easier said than done, of course, but it certainly helped me. Uh, well, I think I've overstayed my welcome, but before I go, I would be remiss not to extend my utmost gratitude to everybody in this room. Believe me when I say that all of you have been instrumental in my growth in this school. I would not be half the person I am today without all of your guidance, support, love, friendship, et cetera, et cetera. I cannot thank any of you enough for what you've done for me and for this school. Every single one of you, I will miss you dearly and I will never forget the time that I've spent here. I love you all, and that's all I got for you. Peace out. That's all he's got, but I, you still got more to come from me, sorry. We all know that superlatives are a big deal to seniors, and especially to those at NSA. Times have changed since I was in high school. We had 11 superlatives in my high school. I think this group had somewhere between 25 to 30 that are created by our NSA students. But they still missed a couple of the great ones, such as based on her tardy sign-in reasons alone, most likely to get herself out of a speeding ticket would be Madison Dale. She has a pet dragon that she feeds a lot of stuff to. I don't know what's going on with that, but parents, you should be looking out for that. Most likely to show up in my office because they are bored, Sybil Staglick and Ava Solaperto. And most likely to never hear me say that I'll miss her once she's graduated after she has asked me day after day after day after day. But I can't tell you that one because then she could claim that I actually said it. So I'll give you a hint. You'll see her among this next group of students. So give a big round of applause for the theater seniors. since you were a freshman. We are truly lucky to have been a part of Nashville School of the Arts. 
despite the hardships and struggles it took to get here. <laughs> so uh, my time at NSA has been something special, and like we said, we wish we could have shown you what an actual day in life at NSA was like, uh, but now we're just gonna have to tell you. But all the graduates here know that NSA cannot be summed up in two sentences. Actually, NSA cannot be summed up in two paragraphs. Yeah. Well, it can. It just... Yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I wouldn't change this experience for anything. And sure, sometimes we have our struggles, and you sit in your classroom and you wonder what your life would be like if you went to a normal high school with, you know, normal people and normal <laughs> teachers and normal classrooms. <laughs> but who wants to be normal? I mean, who wouldn't want to sit in a classroom and hear tap dancers on the other side of the school? Or sit in your classroom and having to shut your door because on one side of the hallway, the band kids are just playing a bit too loud with their door open. Or on the other side of the hallway, you have the choir kids who are singing the same six songs over and over and over and over and over again until they get it right. But they're singing a bit too loud with their door open. <laughs> you guys see the problem that we have at school. Um, but I wouldn't want to change it for anything. I wouldn't want to change this experience that I've had for the past four years, and I wouldn't want to change the people that I've had them with. Yeah, being in a theater conservatory really changed me. I mean, the first few years, I was really not there. I was like, in the back, you know. In the corner. I was like, y'all do your thing. I'll just be over here, I guess. But by what? My, well, this year, I was actually a part of a lot of stuff. Yeah. Uh, Goes to the fine bill, that yeah. happened. Uh, <laughs> it happened. It happened. It happened now. Um, well, then uh, the musical. It was yes. The Spotlight Awards. I wasn't nominated for anything. <laughs> okay. Um, but, you know, I found that I found a family here. And it's, it, it was really great. And even though uh, we couldn't get another moment in the spotlight, uh, you know, with our. Yeah. But, you know, I'm glad that I got at least some sort of recognition and that we all got to be a part of a family one more time this year. And I wouldn't change it for anything. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure we can all confidently say that NSA isn't like a regular school. You don't usually expect a paper mache giraffe hanging from the wall or people loudly harmonizing in the hallways. But what really makes NSA special is the students and their creativity and the way that they work together. We overcome our challenges together and we're able to transform them into our art and our projects. So really, NSA is special because of us. <laughs> um, well, wait, 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 where's Ava and Sandwich? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. Here. sorry, Hi. Oh. Hey guys, hey. sorry about that. Whoa, simple, that's a lot of people. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> They're all here for us. For us. That, that's pretty crazy. <laughs> LeBron James. Ava. <laughs> LeBron Ava. They're, they're not here for they're that. They're not here for no. that? Oh. Um, well, I'm a little embarrassed. I didn't prepare anything, but I guess I just want to say thank you to my mom and dad. Ava. Um, it's not that kind of speech. Oh. Um, okay. do, you, do you remember the skit? That skit? That, oh, yeah. Right. Okay. Run it from the yeah, top. No, 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 no. We're not doing it anymore because it got rejected. So now we just have to talk about like school. Like yes. school. Yeah. Like school. Easy. Easy. Um, I went to NSA. My last day of school was Ava. They know that. On Thursday. <laughs> Can you try to take this seriously? Yes. Like, okay. Sorry. Um, I'll start. Okay. NS NSA. Um, NSA. Yeah. Uh, NSA is a great school. It was so fun. A lot um, of fun times at yeah. NSA. Made so many memories, had so many great opportunities. I mean, I met my best friend here. Yes, that's We're my best besties. friend. This is my best We're friend. We're best friends. We're going to be best Forever. friends. Forever. Yeah. <laughs> Go NSA. Go NSA. Yeah. Okay, guys. <laughs> never really left. I mean, if you ask most of the performers here, we pretty much lived at NSA for like the past four years. Um, being tech people, we're needed for basically every single show because performers can't perform in the dark or someone's always going to need a microphone. Yeah, we work countless of tireless hours slaving away. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wrong speech. Wrong speech. Um, Continue. Dealing with grades and COVID. COVID and 
collaborating with teachers and, you know, performances and ideas for performances that might not get through, but, you know, life happens. Nobody's always going to understand the story you're willing to tell, so that's what we get here at NSA. But overall, we are very grateful. I mean, Mr. B, he has taught us basically every, every single thing that we know about tech. I mean, I would not know how to operate a light board or even learn how to manage a whole entire show without him. So yeah. we are very, very grateful. Yes, very grateful. Production management would not be a thing. If it were not for him, I would not understand what anything is. So yes. So thank you, Mr. B. Thumbs up, Daniel. <laughs> Um, these past four years have shaped me as a human being and as an artist, and I'm incredibly lucky to be on this stage with these people at the end of the year. Um, I think for everybody, it's probably been a wild four years, and I know I've gone through like 20 phases and weird things, so that's life. But here we are, and we're here today, and it's great, and I'm so glad to be up here with all of you guys. Throughout the years, my time at NSA has truly been something special. From putting on an entire show in a month and a half, getting harassed by old ladies in the Walmart parking lot. Yes. <laughs> we are truly like a family. Are we a little dysfunctional? Yes. But the best families are. And I wouldn't want to be up here without, with anyone else. We've had great moments and great times together. And I'm so proud to be here, up here with all these people and graduating with these people. And I'm so grateful that we still get to express these feelings with our bittersweet words, even if it wasn't as planned. Having previously gone to a different school with people who are like you in some way is something you get used to. But to be pushed into a different environment is kind of expected to have a tough transition. In a new space with only a handful of your people is different. You will find true friends here who you can not only connect to on an external level, but a personal one as well. That's what makes this school so interesting. Because of all our different backgrounds, interests, and tastes, you are bound to befriend someone here. No matter who you are, what you look like, or where you come from, you will forever be welcomed at NSA. You know, there is a saying, there is no stone left unturned. However, that's how I feel about NSA. With all the dancers, all the artists, all the band students, and everyone else, they contribute to another story and the story of NSA. And that's why there is no stone left unturned. Coming to NSA, I didn't know what to expect. I thought it was going to be a little like Hollywood arts, but it's not. <laughs> but in my four years of NSA, I got to know the uniqueness of every conservatory, from the sing-songy choir kids who sing all day, to the dramatic dancers who always have something to say, from <laughs> the anime-loving art kids, they like to draw their hearts away, the mellow band kids, they usually stay out of the way, and don't get me started on the Buzzwall theater kids. We're a story for another day. <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. Guys, I think we're overthinking it. <laughs> Bet y'all don't want to see me up here, huh? <laughs> Guys, this moment, this place has given us all the energy, all the perfected craftness we need. I miss all of you, I'll miss all of you. And I can't believe we're gonna just undermine the ubiquitous influence that we've had on this environment. <laughs> we've worked so hard to get to this place. Come on, guys, reminisce with me.
<laughs> well, all right. <laughs> oh, I thought they were cheering for me. It has nothing to do with me. They're cheering for their student. Good for you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. We're good. We're good. So being in the front office, I get to see and hear a variety of interactions. There is no shortage of entertainment opportunities. As expected, there are missed opportunities to use more tasteful language or the periodic PDA, but the moments that warm the heart are the tight friendships that are created. And there is no tighter friendship than a bromance. In the spirit of superlatives, I feel like the night just wouldn't be complete without bestowing one more honor. So are you ready to find out who this year's best bromance is? Will we have a tie? Please congratulate your 22 best bromances, Elijah Gatsimos and Drew Pierce, and Gus O'Brien and Conrad Govrick. And actually, if we're being completely honest, pretty much the entire guitar conservatory can be put into this category. So I'm sorry, Nadia, but this does make you an honorary bro as well. So performing two student-ridden songs, please put your hands together for the Senior Guitar Conservatory. Hello, everybody.
Thank you.
So throughout the years, many of you students have asked to come make announcements or play music over the intercoms at the school. But with great power comes great responsibility, so I always say no to you. However, to make this a little bit more special night for you, I would like to invite one particular student, Miss Margot Boone, up to the mic to make a special announcement as well as play a recording through the speakers for you tonight. Take, take your time, we're vamping a little bit. This is vamping so they can tear stuff down. So take your time, take your time. Okay, are you ready for this announcement? Okay. This is right there, folks. Mr. Lee, AKA Jeremy, AKA Germ Germ, AKA Jer Bear, AKA the awesomest and coolest secretary should be given a quarter by each senior for each time they signed in late without an excuse, causing undue stress and extra work for a total of $335.50. So now for the recording, let's see if this works. Oh, wait, wait. I got, oh, wait, wait. Here we go. Mr. Lead, a.k.a. Jeremy, a.k.a. Germ Germ, a.k.a. Chair Bear, a.k.a. the awesomest and coolest secretary, should be given a quarter by each senior for each time they signed in late without an excuse, causing undue stress and extra work for a total of $335.50. There we go. There we go. Margo, where'd you go? You owe me 50 cents. <laughs> yeah. All right. I think you would all agree that it takes a lot to get through four years of high school. All the tests, all the projects, all the homework, all the announcements from yours truly that you weren't listening to anyway. All the robocalls telling your parents that you were absent when you were actually just a little bit late getting to class. All the COVID tracing notifications. I hate those. All the decisions with what your next hairstyle will be. This next student handled all of this with grace and beauty and a variety of hair colors while being active in the chorus and theater in so many other areas of school. And now she is here to share her thoughts with you all. Please welcome your valedictorian, Maya Underwood. begin my speech, I promised my friend Dee I'd wish her a happy birthday. She is backstage. I did not anticipate that, but happy birthday, Dee. Everybody tell her that when you see her, but not right now because she's backstage. Standing here tonight, I can hardly begin to express the pride that I feel for all of us that are going to be walking tonight. We have all had to fight through so much just to make it through high school and to keep on learning despite circumstances that none of us could have ever anticipated. But we've made it. And tonight we're here to celebrate the ending of our time at NSA and to cheer each other on as we all enter the next chapter of our lives. As students at NSA, we've all had to learn a lot about how to persevere when circumstances are less than ideal. <laughs> Every day we've learned in a building that was never meant to be our permanent home. We've all had our own battles both inside and outside of school just to keep on learning and to make it through our classes. And for over a year, most of us were confined to our own homes trying to replicate classroom environments in environments that were very much not classrooms while the nearest teacher was miles away. Even during our performances, I've seen mics break and sets break and props break and costumes rip and speakers just stop working, and last minute rewrites, and everything that could go wrong possibly going wrong. <laughs> but the beautiful thing about NSA is that all of us know when those hard things happen, how to make it through and come out stronger for it. During our performances, when our mics break, which mine thankfully is not yet, <laughs> we try our best to be heard in the back of the house without them. And in choir or in dance, when the speakers go out and are playing our music, we just dance or sing a cappella, even when that does not work. Our school building was never meant to be our permanent home, but we've made it beautiful. So many of us have put work into dozens of murals and the decorations and the skylights, and we've given our building a sense of community and life with the flyers and the posters and the designs that are constantly in flux on our walls. During virtual learning, we all had to make huge adjustments, but we figured it out. As students, we 
reached out through the internet and formed study groups and shared resources and helped each other with homework and did everything we could to make sure that nobody was left behind if we could help it in a time when it would have been so easy to leave so many people behind. And teachers made themselves available practically 24-7 through email and bookings and Schoology while the administration worked so hard to make all of our favorite events virtual or socially distant so that we could still have a prom and a graduation and an award ceremony in a time where those things could barely happen. So we made it through last year and we came back this year able to celebrate how wonderful in-person learning is and to do so more effectively because of everything that we learned last year while learning virtually. Through everything that's happened the last four years, all of us have persevered when things don't work out the way that they should, and we've worked with what we have to make things better when they need to be. And by doing so, as a senior class, we've all formed a bond that I know I'll never forget, and I hope that most of you won't either. I've never seen a cast that's more cohesive than one that's just had a disaster of a performance and knows the next one needs to be a lot better. And I've never seen a school community as cohesive as we are when we're all working to make our school a better place to be. So I want to thank everybody here in the NSA community, students and teachers and administration and parents for working so hard to make NSA the wonderful place that it is. NSA has had such a positive impact on my life as it has hundreds of others and as it will continue to do for hundreds or thousands of others because of the work that all of us in this room have put in to make it a place that is welcoming and accepting and encourages growth, not just academically, but artistically and personally. Going forward as graduates, all of us are going to have to keep on persevering through tough times, whether those tough times be caused by job things that fall through, or record deals that don't work out, or dance calls that go awry. But we're going to know how to get through, because all of us have learned how to take what we have when that isn't a lot, and to make the most of it, and to truly appreciate the rare times when things actually go correctly and as we want, had planned them to be. I know that with these skills of perseverance and adaptation that all of us have learned, every one of us graduating tonight is going to find success in a way that's meaningful to us because we can push through the hard times and come out stronger for them and be able to celebrate the good times when they come around. To all the graduates who are walking with me tonight, it has been an honor to share the last four years of my life with you and congratulations for finally pushing through and making it to the end. Thank you. There are many types of singers in this world. Some are shower singers, some are car singers, some are good singers, and then some are divas. The good news is that none of the following students fit into the last category. And in retrospect, that is one of the perks of being taught by a divo. You can't help but remain humbled and leveled-headed as you get better. One thing is for certain, each of these voices are not the same as they were when they arrived. And when you put them all together, the message they share through music cannot be ignored. Singing the human heart and you do not walk alone, the senior chorus students.
manage to Ones who knew such tenderness, the ones who felt so sure, the ones who came before you, the ones who came before you, the others yet to come, the others yet to come, and those who you.
Now, I know it comes as no surprise that we have no official sports team at NSA. It is an art school, after all. If it weren't for Miss Pender or Mr. Suddeth, I'm fairly certain there wouldn't be much exercising happening at all at the building. That being said, there is one conservatory that I would pay to be my bodyguards, both for their physical strength and their spiritedness. I remember tales of football players taking ballet to increase their strength and dexterity. So logic says this next group is the closest NSA will ever have to coming or ha come to having a sports team. There we go. And the only ones I would trust to protect me from the tens of fans that I have. For the final performance of the evening, feel welcome to hoot and holler and cheer for the poetry in motion of the Dance Conservatory seniors set to one moment in time.
I was about to be mad at them for not taking a bow. I was like, y'all better take that bow. As my duties as MC come to a close, I want to leave you, the class of 2022, with this final thought. Tonight is a celebration of you and your accomplishments. It's a stepping stone to all of the great possibilities that lie ahead. As you look beyond tonight, keep in mind that life does not, has not, and will not ever promise you only good times. You have years ahead where you will question how you got there or where you will go next. But through all the uncertainty, there is a truth that is constant. No one can steal your joy. You can give it away, but no one can take it from you. No matter what hurdles or obstacles you face, learn to take them in stride and focus on the joy. And one final word, no extra charge. In the moments you actually fall and give away your joy, recognize that you can take it back. Class of 2022, you will be missed. Yes, even you, Nayla Maple. But I didn't say that. But I look forward to seeing where the winding road takes you all. And with that, please welcome to the podium, podium, a woman who has been very dedicated to the school, so much so that she would not let a computer cord or a cast or a scooter or a boot or the newest shoe that she is wearing today, keep her from helping the school. Please welcome Dr. Iris Olage. Good evening. So class of 2022, four years ago you walked into NSA and now ready to walk out. As the old saying goes, all good things must come to an end, and here you are. An ending to your time at NSA means what? Only you can really tell. 
For the rest of your life, you will be the one who knows your heart, your intentions, and determine your outcomes. This makes me think of a poem I once read that I will share with you now. It's called The Dash by Linda Ellis. I read of a man who stood to speak at the funeral of a friend. He referred to the dates on the tombstone from the beginning to the end. He noted that first came the date of birth and spoke the following date with tears. But he said what mattered most of all was the dash between those years. For that dash represents all the time they spent alive on earth, and now only those who love them know what that little line is worth. For it matters not how much we own, the cars, the house, the cash. What matters is how we live and love and how we spend our dash. So think about this long and hard. Are there things you like to change? For you never know how much time is left that can still be rearranged. If we could just slow down enough to consider what's true and real and always try to understand the way other people feel and be less quick to anger and show appreciation more and love the people in our lives like we've never loved before. If we treat each other with respect and more often wear a smile, remembering this special dash may only last a while. So when your eulogy is read with your life's actions to rehash, would you be proud of the things they say about how you spent your dash? So as you leave this place this time to start anew, you have a new part of your dash to start. Make it a good one. Congratulations to you all Go and be somebody great. Be greater than you are today. Go and perfect your dash. So now for the moment that we've all been waiting for, if I would have board member Gina Poopa Walker, Dr. Turner, Dr. Lataha Dow, you should join me on the stage. And I believe that Dr. Staggs is already en route. Good. All right, Dr. Gina Poopa Walker, the records of these students have been duly examined and found to be in accordance with the laws of the great state of Tennessee and the policies of the Metro Metropolitan National Public School System. I am proud to recommend the class of 2022 of the Nashville School of the Arts. I certify that each graduate has completed all requirements necessary to receive a high school diploma with all the rights, responsibilities, and privileges bestowed upon each graduate. Good evening. On behalf of the Metropolitan National Board of Education, it is my honor to certify this graduation process and the awarding of high school diplomas to the 2022 graduates of the Nashville School of the Arts. I further attest the students receiving these diplomas tonight have met or exceeded all graduation requirements mandated by Metro National Public Schools and the State of Tennessee Department of Education. The Board of Education congratulates the students and their families. Felicidades a todos nuestros graduados y a sus familias. Les deseo lo mejor y ha sido un honor enseñar a sus hijos. It has been an honor to have each and every one of you in our schools and we wish each of you the best in your future endeavors. Thank you. Now with the class of 2022, please stand.
Annette are ye? Bridget Ashworth. Sophia Mariana Barquero. Sierra Baxter. Nkosi Nadir Beard. Chanel Janae Bell. Ash Ein Billings. Jake Binda. Jordan Alexis Blevins. Ariana Nicole Bowling. Marco Olivia Boone. Mackenzie Nell Bransford. Grace Swanson Braun Louis. Aaron Callahan Carden. Shayna Danielle Capozzi. Miranda Grace Castillo. Mac Kathy. Darylin Michaela Celio Martinez. Premier Lachey Clay. Andrew Kolbeck. Kevin Isaac Coleman. Zania Dominique Cooper. Kara Lynn Council. Corey Ann Crow. Tiana Crutcher. Maddie Mayana Dale. Emmett Vernon Davies. Josephine Grace Durr. Maggie Elizabeth Donovan. Alex Sidney Dubin. Thomas Canyon Dunn. Zoe Olivia Eddins. Truman Joseph Eltringham.
Hope Elizabeth Evans. Luke Stephen Fickert Roland. Layla Leandra Franklin. Anna Garland Frog. Abigail Ann Funk. Elijah Vasilios Getzimos. Gabby Gilmer. Anna Michelle Glazer. and Mia Carol Glazer. Conrad Nicholas Govrick. Samira Asha Graham. Maurice Andre Greer. Brooklyn Micaiah Grigsby. Bayo Hall. Terilyn Marie Harris. Mariah Trinice Hatcher, Hatcher, excuse me. Isaac Hernandez Martinez. Chantel Hines. Asha Deirdre Holly. Kayana Taylor Jackson. Jada Alexis Jeffries. Madison Melissa Jennings. Catherine Elise Johnson. Renaya Ayun Jones. Isabel Genia Kaling. James Rob Karcher. Max Koski. Mickey Krantz. Emma Grace Leary. Emily Catherine Luder. Madison Patrice Adrienne Macklin. Nayla Sone Maple. Abraham Patterson Marks. Cadence Juliana McDonald. 
Anaya McKissick. Sadie McPherson. Jayla Denise Miller. Alexander Timothy Moore. Nathan David Neal. Talia Shawnee Neal. Lauren Kelly Newman. Blake Elizabeth Noseworthy. Lawrence Augustine O'Brien. Shania Renee Pinnell. Benicio Felix Pardo. Nisha Ann Patrick. Samira Bashan Pearson. Nick Perkins. Morgan Carmelita Perry. Ava Elizabeth Peters. Ella Peters. Drew Bennett Pierce. Avery Fawner Poff. Taryn Brianna Powell. Coral Quezada Mendoza. Chelsea Simone Redmond. Nadia Lacambini Rice. Natalie Grace Rodas Munoz. Ali Powell Shablam. Ava Ann Soloperto. Sybil Foster Calais Staglick. Haley Stevens. Amsal Takelu Takele. Avery Talmadge. Miles Lee Trockler. Michaela LaShawn Turner. Bori Turner. Maya T. Underwood. Drew Wayne Usselton. Can Warupimrat. Sydney Micah. Kendall Wedekin. Yeah. 
Maria Felice Ruiz Weir. Nevea Camille Wheeler. Fred Morris Whitley III. Jory Callista Whitley. Reina Dominique Simone Williams. Brianna Michelle Wanzi. Deandria Annette Wright. And Aiden James Zach. Do we have all the seniors back in their spots? All the graduates. Okay, class of 2022, please stand. You may turn your tassels. I am thrilled to present the class of 2022. Congratulations. We would ask for everyone to please stay in your seats as the graduates recess out and they will meet you outside the building. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful night. <laughs>